Hi, I'm here with Destiny Still from the Narsan Area High School girls basketball team, who's been invited to the Dominican Dominican Republic women's basketball team to represent the U.S. Hi, Destiny. How are you doing? I'm doing good. That's good. Um, so, how did you get this opportunity? Well, one always put in work, nonstop, always put in work, and I always did college shootouts, keystones. On a uh, keystone, I was the MVP one year. So I just always put in work, always try to improve myself when it comes to that. Okay, so you said you went to college shootouts, yeah. right? So when you attended those events, did you feel like that there was other people that stood out more than you did, or did you always feel like you could compete with them people? No, 100%. Always felt like always I felt had like someone that I always had to compete with anytime, mm -hmm. anywhere I played ball. I always felt like that. Did, uh, did you ever? Did you play for any other organizations? Um, I played for Northtown High Eagles, Lady Eagles. I also played for um, Town Pride. There was an AAU team, mm -hmm. and then again, I just did college shootouts, stuff like that. Okay. How long have you been playing? Since I was three, I was young when I started when I started playing. My cousin really influenced me when it came to that. Okay. Came to ball. What position do you play? Point guard. I'm all around player. They call me LeBron. Oh. <laughs> I'm all around player. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> What influenced what influenced you to play at three? Um, like to start playing at three years old? My cousin, really my cousin, my sister, my mom, pretty pretty much my family. Anyone that was really close to me, they always told me that I was really the basketball person. Like okay. I always had that talent. Right, does anyone else in your family play basketball or just you? Uh my dad did. He okay. he a center though. He's not that good. Okay. But <laughs> my dad, uh my cousin again, and my uncle. Okay. Um, so your coaches, how, how do they help you? Well, Coach Fisher, number one, my guy, Coach Fisher. He he really helped me. I also had um, a lot of outside coaches like Coach Chris, Coach D. She coached now for uh, Northtown, Northtown Eagles. Um, Coach Albert, everyone, they really helped me influence, like motivate myself, put my comments up there. But Coach Fisher was really the one that really pushed me to where I am now. Okay, that's good. Um, is there anything you get better at, or do you feel like there's any you have any weaknesses? I can really get better at anything, but one of my biggest weaknesses, I would have to say personally, is off the dribble shooting. So that's one thing that I'm not really confident about. Okay. Um, so like to get better at that, how do you like? What would you do? Like grind. Grind. Yeah, you athlete, you know, yeah. grind. All that, just every day, wake up, have the mindset to go mm -hmm. put your work in. Got to get better by doing something. You always want to be on top. All right. Yeah. Do you play for plan? Uh, do you plan on playing at the next level? Of course, of course. Okay. I've, I plan to go overseas, WNBA, everything. Plan so, to better that. All right. Do you have any colleges in mind? Yeah. Um. Duke. You always gotta go You're there. Number one. Mm-hmm. Oh, Duke. Right. Uh. Susquehanna. That's like basic for education purposes. Oh, though. Right. Um. Uh, Arizona. To Mississippi, mm -hmm. all them, any D1, D2 colleges I'm really looking for. Right, now you said, what was the one school for education? Susquehanna. Right, what do you plan on majoring in? Um, accounting. I really feel like accounting is really for me. I like money. I like managing money, all that. Okay. So I feel like that's where that, that would be the best fit for me. Um, why, do you, uh, why do you feel like you were offered this opportunity? Again, my work ethic how hard I grind and stuff like that. Everything I've really been putting for, I've been doing this since I was three. So mm -hmm. I really put my blood, sweat, tears all in the ball. So yeah. I really got the opportunity because of my work ethic. So, so I know playing overseas, it's not none of your other teammates going to be there. So it's going to be all new people. How do you feel mm -hmm. about that? It's playing like Philly, playing in Philly. That's oh, wow. pretty much all it is. Street yeah. ball, you know, not mm -hmm. really caring about nothing, all that. Okay. Uh, so playing over in the Dominican Republic, what do you hope to gain? Uh, basically a new experience for both. How high, uh, how to see how the changes is different, how it changes from school, college, see if it's the same as college, anything. Basically how, how the fast pace it is. So do you feel like this experience will also help you be like a better leader as well? 100%, 100%, yeah. I feel like it will mature me a lot more going by myself and stuff like that, yeah. All right, that's good. Well, I wish you the best of luck Thank you. on your journey out there. Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, actually, I do. So when it comes to the Dominican Republic, we're actually starting a fundraiser. So that's for like 
fun, stuff like that, travels, all that to help me out. You want to shout out your Instagram or whatever we can find that? Desi Wezzy, Des dot T-I-N-I 14 underscore. You feel me? Follow me. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. This is Destiny Steele from the uh, girls basketball team. Back to you.